Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tracy Sable. Georgia's Secretary of State says after results from the hand recount are certified, the losing campaign can then request another recount, which will be performed by a machine. Here's a look right now at the current vote count in Georgia. According to the Associated Press, Press, President-elect Joe Biden leads President Donald Trump by about 14,000 votes. That's out of nearly 5 million votes counted in the state. Meantime, President Donald Trump honors all those who have served on this Veterans Day, and he is not backing down in his fight to win the election, announcing more legal action today. And more tweets as well from the president aiming to show how the polls got it wrong and hurt his campaign. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, as you pointed out, Georgia was an extremely close race. In fact, the Georgia Secretary of State saying, let the counting begin again, and the Trump campaign announcing a new post-election legal action. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump honor the nation's veterans at Arlington National Cemetery. In Pennsylvania, President-elect Joe Biden and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, visit the Philadelphia Korean War Memorial. <laughs> Meanwhile, the election. On Twitter, President Donald Trump slams, quote, fake pollsters for a possibly illegal suppression poll just before the election, showing me down 17 points in Wisconsin, when, in fact, on election day, the race was even, and we are now preparing to win the state. And in Georgia, a recount. It will be a heavy lift, but we will work with the counties to get this done in time for our state certification. The Trump campaign is happy about that and also said today this election is not over and Joe Biden has been certified as the winner in exactly zero states. In Philadelphia, one official says of last week's election. We just had the most transparent and secure election in the history of Philadelphia. He can't believe what he's seeing on social media. One thing I can't comprehend is how hungry people are to consume lies and to consume information that is not true. President Donald Trump attacking the commissioner on Twitter, calling Al Schmidt a so-called Republican rhino who refuses to look at a mountain of corruption and dishonesty. We win. By the way, Twitter censored the tweet you just saw there by President Donald Trump calling it disputed. Meanwhile, the Trump campaign has filed suit in Michigan saying witnesses there saw election officials counting ineligible ballots and counting batches of the same ballots multiple times. Tracy? White House correspondent Owen Jensen reporting for us tonight. Thank you so much, Owen.